the sand swallow. The Abacus won't survive in the desert alone. We need to bring them back. of exiles, some more exiles. Kinda weird. Tell me, stranger, have you heard of the legend of Zemlon? Don't scare him away, Nora. We need their help. I like how all the sentient creatures we find. The females have memories that need to be covered up with cloth. Whatever. Lost in Zemlan. Legends say that the mountain of treasure sits deep inside the port of Zemjan. Pillager, pillaged from every corner of Azeroth, but it's guarded by unkillable eternal monsters. No Vulpera or Exile has ever stolen treasure from the port of Zemlan and made it out alive. My caravan was going to be the first, our scout Miki. Snuck in to figure out a route, but never came back. It would be wisest for you to leave here and never return, but if you go into the port, please find Miki. Take care of yourself. No one else will. Thank you, Saitor. Miki is a good friend. If you find treasure along the way, bring that too. Can make it worth your trouble. Everybody hush. Miki's fine and I'm trying to sleep back here. Have you come to trade? Remember... Everything has its use. Wanted. Tazraka. The traitor. To all caravans and travelers. Beware of Tazraka the traitor, a skeleton ambushing travelers on the road near port of Zamjan. If you must travel on that road, move quickly and avoid entering any of the ruins. Several caravans have combined resources to offer a reward for, for Tazraka's death. To collect, speak with Nora in Camp Lastwind. Just gonna keep going west, aren't we? <laughs> Just keep going, finding more and more quests to do along the way. Hmm. Eternal Curse of Zemlon. Damage increased by 10%. Damage, damage taken and damage done increased by 20%. So this is technically a beneficial buff. He spits on me one last time. There he is. 340k health. <laughs> Drink up me heart, he's looking a bit dry. <laughs> he's in here telling jokes to himself. You know, I I would tell him, I would leave him be for that, because I feel like his existence is kind of miserable, and killing him will probably be doing him a favor, but XP and loot is XP and loot.
seems we've taken a hit with our survivability pickups. How much HP do we have left? A thousand, wow. I don't recall getting hit this hard with my our old uh, survivability traits on our Azerite armor. Let's see. Uh, when you kill something, so yeah, that's uh, not very relevant here when you take damage. Alright, that's a good one, I guess. Yeah, and this is also when we kill something. So yeah. I guess we'll have to wait for other people to arrive. Three randos was enough. Invalid target, so this is not the right kind of buzzard I see. Reminded me of Tomb Raider 4 for some reason. I see those survivability traits are the difference between being able to kill three people elites on your own with ease and not being able to do it at all. Wasteland Survivor. The leather sur survivor, he seems kinda dead. The leather has become dry and cracked in the sun, but the supplies inside are mostly intact. It's unknown what gruesome death befell the backpack's former owner, but supplies like this are in high demand among the outcast. The desert has claimed many lives, perhaps there are more supplies to be found among the dunes. What's that?
there's so many supplies to scavenge in this desert. How come all these people died? Done with the beetles. Valid target. These aren't the right buzzards still. That alpaca had a weird color, so, uh, well, not weird. It's not unnatural or anything, it's just different than the other alpacas, so I figured maybe it's a rare mob or something. Let's get us some roasted buzzard. Quite the opposite, in fact. We need to see a lot to live. Wrong button. Warglaves might give ore, which might allow us to do some gem crafting. Although I still strongly suspect we're we'll gonna need to buy ore from the auction house at some point. Lightning strike them a couple times to make sure they're even more fried. Also, I redid my stat weights, the order is still pretty much the same. The diff main difference seems to be that uh, weapon attack damage seems to have a less impact than it used to. Probably because we just have higher damage per second weapons now. What's this? Mysterious trash pile? Ah. And she has a quest a for me. Just be a place to keep your stuff. Sorry, surprise. The sands of Vuldun be full of trash creatures. 
Harsh creatures, but none so harsh as that of the Zandalari sand. One of these criminals be right here in the scorched sands. His name be Sezajin, and he be the former chef of the king. Did, you t did he tell you he'd be famous for a dish called Surit Surprise? Guess what the main ingredient be? He be fallen far, but not far enough for Johnny. It's time to take his pride. Just be making sure that the creatures of the sand not be seeing it. Survive Johnny's prank on Sejajin. When young Mike can take his hat and earn the favor of Johnny. But be careful not to let the hungry predators be seeing you. <laughs> We're gonna be stealing a hat again. Sorry, surprise. Now what? Swarm some. Bully the chef. Give me his hat. Come on, give me the hat. When are you going to do something? Oh, I had to summon it twice. Ah, what be happening? <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> Let's go back. Thanks for the hat, Richman. Let's take the same route back. As soon as that scorpion passes. There you Frick! Ah, thank God. Oof, it counts. Like I always say, one man's trash be another man's lure. Ah, well done, rich man. No doubt he gonna find another hat eventually. But you took the one he be wearing when he cook up his sword surprise. You earned me favor. Don't I get a treasure chest? Apparently not. Next, Brickly Plum and Scorpit. All right. This music is so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. Relic Hunter Hassak. 
This one has a death wish. I will grant it. If I remember correctly, fist weapons gave me scales, so I'm just gonna PE that thing. Alright, now all we need is scorpid stingers. Man, our survivability really went down the drain with those bad traits. Let's see. Ideally, we would have all tra uh, survivability traits be that shield that refreshes every 30 seconds. Well, that will give us a massive shield that uh, will allow us to take dot damage while we're stealthed. It might also be the most HPS, because every 30 seconds you get a heal. Not a literal heal, but you know, that shield, and it lasts for 30 seconds, which means unless the mobs manage to do that amount of damage in 30 seconds, you're safe. I would also settle for that thing when you get hit, you heal every six seconds. That one was pretty, like, we had three traits of that in the beginning and we were pretty much unstoppable. Oh, the wrench is over here. Got anything for me? The flora within this gulch are struggling to survive just like the rest of us. Do you have something for me? I've been looking everywhere for this. Don't die out there. We can salvage the seeds. I've studied the flora within the terrace extensively. Once a thirstal vines completely dries out, it's too late for the plant to be saved. The, its seeds are still viable, however. Under the right conditions, they can be used to cultivate new healthy thirstal vines. Salvage seeds from the carnivorous turtle vines that no, no longer be saved, and plant them within the fertile mounds of dirt. The turtle vine plant is extremely quick to sprout, so it, the terrace should be filled with seedlings in no time. Wither without water. The flora in this area weren't always so aggressive. Without water, the turtle vines wither and waste until they become something unrecognizable and angry. Take my watering can and wet the th withering thirstal vines to prevent them from becoming carnivorous. Let it flow. The fountain here has been seen better days. They are currently incapable of holding water, but we can fix that. You can use my spare tools to repair the cracks. With a little luck and elbow grease, the fountain will be flowing again in no time. Be quick. Be clever. There's a... Sleeping... Hyena? Mounted hyena? Interesting. So, sprinkle water can only be used while in withering gulch. Alright, let's see. Invalid target. Oh, and it needs to be withering. The carnivorous are already too late, apparently. Oh. 
Look at how happy he is. Missing regent, I see. That electric thing works frequently, but I have a feeling that it doesn't do enough fast enough to be worth it in the open world. To be honest, not that much elbow grease needed if you can hit it if you can fix it with hitting it with the hammer twice. Oh well. What did you bring me? Look at how much you helped bring this place to life. You've got quite a green thumb. No no no, that's like my regular glove, but it's kinda covered in poison. Sorry about that. Withered without water. Look at how happy the plants are, you made that happen. Level 120 bitches? Yeah, boys, we can unlock Freehold, Shrine of the Storm, Tol Dagor, the Waycrest Manor, and probably a whole bunch of other stuff that we'll check out in a minute. Hmm, this fountain is front, front of me it still isn't functioning, but my work was impeccable. The source of the problem. I checked my work twice when working on this fountain. I made no mistakes. There must be something wrong with the source. The mountain draws water from a modest reservoir above the terrace. Would you mind checking it out? Surviving means being resourceful. Uh, we unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, that, that's literally it. The dungeon is all we unlocked. But... Means right now... We could queue for heroics if we had 305 eye level. We only have 284, so let's continue questing and get us some better gear. It's above, even higher up. Loose boulder. This is Look, I understand that like your pipes can be clogged, but this isn't how you drain snake a drain. That's not how it's done. <laughs> 